So we did a little family road trip yesterday. We started at home with 73% because we didn't charge at home. And we arrived at an Ionity charger with 36%, so not ideal. Um, but well, um, that's just how it is sometimes. Um, consumption was a little bit higher than uh, usual. Um, we had uh, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour headwind pretty much the whole time when we drove there and of course that wind was gone once we wanted to head home so <laughs> Murphy's Law uh, right there um, and we averaged uh, uh, in total 22 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers um, there was uh, very little traffic almost no construction sites so average speed was uh, 95 kilometers per hour um, max speed I drove was 120 except the occasional uh, overtaking and stuff like that. Uh, three people in the car, uh, everything on, on auto, so no hyper miling, um, 20 inch wheels, all season tires, um, fully loaded spec. So uh, still not too bad I think. So since we arrived at 36%, the area was a little bit in the disadvantage uh, concerning charging speeds, because if you're charged from higher rates of charge, um, you just can't put as much energy into the cells. But still, it was uh, quite fast. We added almost 36 kilowatt hours in 24 minutes. So 36 to 76%. To put this into perspective, I found a video by Tesla Björn who uh, did charge the ID4, IX3, and EQC all with the large batteries. But those were charging from 10%, so they had pretty much optimal charging conditions. And I kind of looked where they would get to 36% and then added 35%. 0.7 kilowatt hours um, to make this a somewhat even playing field and the ix3 was marginally faster it would take 21 minutes the eqc uh, took 23 minutes so almost the same time the id4 took 27 minutes and again those were charging from 10 percent um, so they had a much better starting point the area when charging from below 10 percent would do this in 18 to 20 minutes so it would be the fastest yeah so we spent 24 minutes added uh, almost 36 kilowatt hours we did depart at 76 percent just because uh, i wanted to reach the ionity charger on the other side of the autobahn on the way back at sub 10 percent to see if the uh, charging curve would be the same as always um, the curve i uh, kind of expect uh, judging from my experience and indeed uh, that was the case we went right up to 115 kilowatts uh, 116 uh, fluctuating a little bit back and forth and um, then uh, dropping at, in this case, I think 55%. Um, yeah, taking the usual downward slope at 60%, we almost had 110 kilowatts still. And uh, in the end, we charged almost 43 kilowatt hours in just 22 minutes. Yeah, um, so good, reliable performance there.